Before wasting your time we are going to share top 5 best spotting scope. Number 5 on the list is Koa TSN 880 Pro Minor. Interestingly, the Koa does not have an armor shield around the body. It won't be as easy to grip or protect as armored spotters, but it does keep weight down. Incredibly, the 88mm body only weighs 53.61 Oz. There were several things that Koa did to provide its impressive, lightweight body. It has a magnesium alloy chassis, lightweight prism box, and a shorter 13.5 length. Optical quality was not compromised in the effort to bring a true, lightweight spotter to the field, as it features pure fluorite crystal and eco glass lenses. Going further than they need to, but in order to provide the best, no ordinary concave lenses were used to make the achromatic assembly. Koa built upon ed glass and low dispersion properties to provide first class California, chromatic aberration, elimination. Of course, special coatings are used on the prisms to further provide an extraordinary glassing experience. It has an advanced inner focusing system that provides dual focus in what seems to be an older style knob, considering the helical focus colors we have now. However, the sharpness and resolution can be taken advantage of for digiscoping, and birdwatching. The eyepiece bayonet system allows for full confidence in that the eyepiece stays in place exactly where it's supposed to be. Although eyepieces are an extra cost, you can ensure you're getting the right one for your needs. Number 4 on the list is Vanguard VOHD 80A20 to 60x80. Built on a composite carbon chassis, the Vanguard VOHD runs lighter than its peers, which makes this 80mm spotter a good choice for backcountry hunting. The angled eyepiece and rotating tripod mount increase its versatility, and the controls are relatively tight and precise, especially for the at around $400. Emirates include the slippery, non-textured armor, and the underwhelming glass, which makes images above about 45 power pretty dark and grainy, with some distorted edge detail. Still, if you use this scope in daylight and don't max out its magnification, it's a worthy companion for most hunting situations or first-time buyers. Lightweight, durable composite carbon material. Large center focus adjustment wheel. Number 3 on the list is Tractoric UHD 27 to 55 x 80. The first spotter from this direct-to-consumer is a versatile powerhouse. The focus, magnification ring, and retractable sunshade all move with silky precision. And the 27 to 55 power zoom range covers most hunting scenarios, while the 80 mm objective lens made with extra low dispersion glass lets in plenty of light. Precision rifle shooters will appreciate the fixed 22 power lens that contains a milling PRS retycle, which allows users to make precise calls when spotting for a long distance shooter. This direct to consumer brand delivers bright ed glass and quality Japanese build at a relatively accessible price. Shot HT, high transmission glass for exceptional low light performance, apochromatic optical system with an extra low dispersion, ed lens for increased resolution, and true color rendition flat multi coating to maximize light transmission over a wide spectrum of LIGHT 100% waterproof and fog proof with argon gas ultra versatile 20. 27 to 55 x eyepiece provides a wide field of view and the necessary eye relief to use while wearing eyeglasses. Number 2 on the list is Athlon Argus HD 20 to 60 x 85. A full size spotter that retails for under $400 should get white attention and careful handling. This isn't the spotter for everyone, but for buyers on a budget who want decent performance and all the reach that a 60 power can deliver, it's a very good choice. Athlon submitted two full sized spotters for this year's test, but the Argus HD version, as opposed to the Argus G2 UHD version, represents the best combination of price and performance. So much so that it won our great buy award as the best bargain spotting scope. We've rarely seen this much glass and optical horsepower for under $400. While this is likely the first spotter that a hunter or shooter may buy owing to the approachable price, it won't be the last. That's because the glass and controls of the Argus HD are slightly disappointing. 
You'll notice the images starts to get dark and grainy at about 45 power, and our low light test confirmed that, compared with its UHD brother, the Argus HD will wink out several minutes before its peers. Many consumers are understandably confused about the designations that optics companies use to describe the quality of glass in their products, but the Athlon spotters are useful to differentiate between HD and UHD glass. The first instance stands for high definition, while the second is ultra high definition. There's still no rigor around those terms, but the HD model was measurably darker and muddier than the UHD model. Number 1 on the list is Maven CS.1 a 15 to 45 times 65. An immensely capable mid-sized spotter, the CS.1 features decent glass in a rugged and lightweight alloy frame that handles mid-distance spotting chores with style, and talent.maven applied the Goldilocks rule to this versatile spotter. It's positioned just right between the company's big, bright, and spendy S1 series, and its big boned B5 binoculars, which sport 56mm objective lenses and magnifications from 10 to 18 power. The CS.1 is built around the same mid level class of glass that Maven uses in its C series binoculars. That glass is good, but it's not quite as bright and sharp as that Japanese S series glass. What the CS.1 delivers, though, is rugged performance. The 65mm size is just about right for most backpack pockets, and it pairs nicely with mid-size tripods. Its glass is protected by double-walled armor that resists scratching. That makes a great combination for hardscrabble backcountry hunters who don't want to sacrifice optical performance, knowing that seeing long distances can save them many miles and thousands of feet of elevation in their boots.